Oceans are the heart and lungs of our planet. Our oceans provide ecosystem services critical for the health and survival of our planet. These services include climate regulation, oxygen production, and food provision. South Africa has an astonishingly rich marine environment. It is home to over 11,000 known species of marine animals and 15% of global fish species. Around 13% of these species are endemic, found nowhere else in the world. The seabed is the building block of marine ecosystems and provides nurseries, feeding and spawning habitats for a rich array of marine species. South Africa's marine environment is also a national asset of considerable social, biological, cultural and economic importance. Our fishing industry provides significant socio-economic benefits, including jobs, livelihoods and food security. There are approximately 30,000 small-scale fishers and 150 fishing communities in South Africa. Furthermore, our oceans are the foundation of other sustainable industries, including tourism. But South Africa's marine environment is under threat from a rapid increase in marine mineral and petroleum extraction. The Petroleum Agency of South Africa has leased 98% of our marine environment for offshore oil and gas. Apart from the risk of oil spills and direct impacts on marine life, these operations result in a proliferation of seismic surveys. These have dire impacts on marine mammals and pelagic fish. An increasing number of rights have been granted for coastal heavy mineral sand prospecting and mining. This uses giant earth-moving machines to dig up strips of coastal dunes and beaches, which is removed by trucks for processing. Now, there's a new and dangerous threat to our marine habitats. Recently, the Department of Mineral Resources granted three rights to private companies to prospect for marine phosphate over a considerable area. Together, these areas cover approximately 150,000 square kilometers, or 10% of our marine environment. If mining proceeds in these areas, it would involve a technology named trailing suction hopper dredge. This is comparable to strip mining the seafloor at an alarming rate. A dredge head with cutting teeth is dragged on the seafloor and completely removes a living layer of our seabed of up to three meters deep. These operations can remove up to five and a half million tons of sediment annually. This living layer is then vacuumed up by a tube. The process creates a giant plume of sediment equivalent to a dust cloud of hazardous substances such as methane, hydrogen sulfide, and heavy metals locked in the seabed. This plume blankets an area far greater than the mined area, smothering and burying seabed ecosystems. As seabed mining would have significant impacts on fish stock, it would devastate small-scale and commercial fishing, as well as associated jobs, livelihoods and food security benefits. South Africa, Namibia and Angola are signatories to the Benguela Current Convention, which requires us to work together in managing shared marine resources. It would be irrational for us to allow marine phosphate mining when these activities will devastatingly impact our neighbours. No other country has allowed bulk marine sediment mining. Countries that have received similar applications have placed a moratorium or permanent ban on such operations. We do not have a shortage of phosphates for farming. There are viable alternatives for ensuring continued phosphate supplies, including improved soil management and phosphate recovery from sewage facilities. South Africa's current legal and governance framework cannot cope with bulk marine sediment mining. The cumulative impacts of an unregulated and unenforced seabed mining industry would be disastrous. In 2015, in response to concerns that seabed mining would soon be authorised, a group of organisations formed the Safeguard Our Seabed Coalition. The coalition includes organisations that represent commercial and small-scale fishing, organised labour, and environmental and environmental justice organisations. The primary objective of the coalition is to pursue a moratorium on bulk marine sediment mining. The coalition believes a moratorium should be in place until at minimum 
a strategic environmental assessment has been concluded so that the impacts on established and renewable industries such as fisheries and tourism are known. Our marine environment is remarkably beautiful and rich. The health of our country, our people, and our environment, and therefore our economy, depends on the health of our ocean. We have a duty of care towards our ocean, both for its intrinsic value and for our own well-being.